Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Cloud Door. Okay, today I'm going to talk about a very important topic. Six ways that your job is ruining your mental health. So, job pe hum kyo jate hain? Why do we work? We work to earn money. We work because we like our work. And on top of that, there can be social benefits if, you know, you like to socialize with your co-workers, you like to hang around. So these are the benefits, right? And if all the three things are present in your job and in your life, it's a very good thing. If one thing is present, it's a very good thing. But imagine thinking about your job and, you know, finding nothing positive about it. Kuch bhi positive nahi and you feel really, really terrible about it. Then I think it's time that you think about changing your job or make amendments in your current job. So let's just discuss six ways, six signs that indicate that your mental health is getting ruined because of your job and that you need to change your job or make some changes to it. So let's find out. So the first thing is that you can't bring yourself to go to the work. आपको सुबह जॉब पे जाने का मन ही नहीं करता है सुबह उठते ही आपको लगता है आपकी बॉडी बहुत हैवी फील कर रही है बहुत लथार्जिक फील कर रही है थोड़ी देर और सो जाता हूँ बहुत बुरे बुरे ख्याल आने लगते हैं आपको इट रियली गिव्स यू चिल्स व्हेन यू थिंक अबाउट एंटरिंग योर ऑफिस आपको दिमाग में यही सब घूमता रहता है कि आज कैसे होगा आज क्या होगा या फिर आपको बहाने आपके दिमाग में आते हैं कि आज मैं नहीं जाता हूँ आज छुट्टी ले लेता हूँ आज क्या बहाना बनाऊँ यू नो रोज़ एक अगर ऐसी ही साइकिल चल रही है एंड यू जस्ट डोंट फील मोटिवेटेड टू गो टू योर वर्क देन थिंक अबाउट इट दिस माइट बी अ साइन दैट समथिंग इज़ अ मिस एंड समथिंग इज़ नॉट गोइंग डाउन वेल फॉर यू ट्राई टू मेक चेंज इन दैट ओके सो द सेकेंड थिंग यू कैन नेवर रियली लीव वर्क यू आर सो ऑब्सेस्ड विद वर्क that you have no chance to leave it even when you are with your friends with your relatives your phone or your laptop is always plugged into your mails and you're constantly checking you're always on the call even jab aap kaam kar rahe hain aap time nahi nikal pate 15 minute ek break le lu kuch kha ke aa jao you're sacrificing your health you're sacrificing your physical health and everything just to do the work even when you are not doing anything you're constantly thinking about work ki wo hua ki nahi wo kaise hoga wo kaise karna hai all this can be really detrimental and harmful for your mental health please be aware make some time because that's not leading a balanced lifestyle work life balance right third thing you don't want to socialize at work people go to work they socialize also they work also but if you are completely obsessed with your work if you are always dreading your work and you are finishing your deadlines and even thinking about socializing with other people is a big no no for you and you don't even like to see the face of your co-workers then it's a problem then your environment is not healthy then the place that you work at is not reaping any benefits for you socially and it's detrimental to your mental health so think about it okay the fourth thing you are overlooked and ignored at your workplace so you try to take a back seat and you don't really interact with people and you don't want to be in the forefront and therefore aapke jo seniors hain aapke jo supervisors hain aapke jo bhi managers hain wo aapko ignore kar dete hain even jab rewards ya promotion ka chance hota hai aapko zyada attention nahi diya jata hai jab ki kaam ke liye aapko bahut kaam diya jayega but then जब रिकग्निशन uh, की बात आती है देन आप उतना लाइमलाइट में नहीं रहते हैं थिंक अबाउट इट बिकॉज नो वन वॉन्ट्स टू फील लाइक दैट राइट नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू फील इन्फीरियर सो इफ यू आर मेड टू फील लाइक दैट और डू यू फील लाइक दैट ट्राई एंड मेक कमेंटमेंट्स इन दैट बिकॉज दैट्स एक्सट्रीमली अनहेल्दी फॉर योर माइंड फिफ्थ थिंग इफ योर जॉब फिल्स यू विद गिल्ट यू हैव सम मॉरल एथिकल वैल्यूज एंड इफ यू आर डूइंग अ जॉब एंड सम वन who doesn't uh, you know kind of your thinking and your values don't match with the policies of the company or whatever they are doing maybe lying and cheating with the customers and you're still working there your mental health will be compromised because 
uh, there will be a cognitive dissonance where your heart says something else, your mind says something else, but your company says something else. In order to earn money and be there and stick there, you need to conform to that. So take a action because uh, it's not good to compromise on your morals and on your values because that will create a lot of unhealthy conflicts in your mind. And if you can't look yourself in the mirror, your mental health will suffer, right? Okay. So yeah. The sixth thing is that your personal life is also suffering. You know, the amount of time you devote to your work is causing a havoc in your personal life. Like you cannot distance yourself from the work and att attend to your spouse, to your kids and their constant fights and complaints and nobody is happy. So, you know, you might also never get into a mood of intimacy apne partner se close hone ke, and you may just uh, lose the will to please your partner and other people around you and you're simply thinking about work. It's terrible. It's terrible. There's no question that your job is, you know, it's kind of ruining your mental health and you need to take some positive action. So these are six things that these are signs and indicative of um, that, you know, your mental health is suffering and your, and your job is doing you no good. So think about it, discuss it out, discuss it with me, with a mental health professional, with people around you and take corrective measures, change your job, change your workplace or mm, take some therapy to at least, you know, get out of that zone where you feel very negative about your work, about yourself, about people around and your life in general. We are here to help. So let me know if you are suffering with this and you need any help, please reach out. All the best.